Okay, welcome to this little tip here. It's um, this is first of all, it's for a new feature that's been introduced into PC Demos 2011 MR1, and it basically is designed to learn moves from one feature to another feature with some collision detection turned on, uh, and allow you to see those path lines real time as you go from one to another. So let's uh, let's go take a peek here. Um, at this point, what I've done is I've done some manual measurements and done an alignment, and I've turned my DCC on, and uh, now I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, just to tell you where these uh, these two functions are located, I've got them in a toolbar, but they're located under Operation, Graphics Display Window, Clearance Moves. And the two functions I'm referring to, the first one that you have to turn on is with feature creation. Once that's turned on, then you can turn the next one on called with collision detection. Okay, so that's what we're going to be describing for you today. I've already got the two functions turned on. I'm going to now go to auto plane. I'm going to pick my plane. I've got voidance detection turned on, so it puts the path in there for you for that plane. I'm going to now go select maybe a circle and uh, I'll just select the top circle there and uh, it got me from the plane to the circle so that's pretty pretty easy to do no, no worries there. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go select this angled hole and because I've got my auto wrist toggled and again, those two functions turned on for figuring out moves around the part. It has, let me just lower this down a little bit so you can see it. It has figured out how to get from the circle, um, move the wrist, and get to this hole without crashing into the part. So that wasn't too bad, a hole at a 45 degree angle. Now we're going to, let's say we go and measure from that hole all the way over to this right lower hole on a completely different face. So we'll pick it. Again, uh, hopefully you can see the path lines. So it's moving up, it does the wrist move. You can see the path line across the part without hitting the part. Um, and then it comes down and measures that circle. And then for the last bit, what we're gonna do is uh, do something that's usually very hard to figure out how to do, and that is get from this front circle um, up and over the block with a wrist move to get the opposite side circle. So to do that we're, we're going to rotate this block around. Okay. And we'll pick the other side. And hopefully you can see the path. Again it came out of that hole. It does a wrist change, it moves up, comes down across and into the hole again all without crashing into the part. Okay. Uh, one of the keys to success with this particular routine is that um, you also have your auto avoidance move turned on just for after the hole and um, set it to just something just to get it out of the hole barely. I've got it set here to a quarter of an inch. Basically what that does is it helps it from, uh, with wrist moves so that uh, it doesn't try to do a wrist move inside of the hole. All right? so this just pushes it outside of the hole so that when it does a wrist move it'll figure out all the rest of the moves. This is the only thing you got to help it with. Okay, well good luck, have fun, and um, We'll see you next time.